Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Muktadir Abid and welcome to my channel. And today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to calculate this temperature using Landsat 8 images in ArcGIS. And the land surface temperature is the temperature of the earth surface, which is the radiative skin temperature of the land derived from the infrared radiation. And I have a blog related to this topic and this will help you to calculate the land surface temperature. To begin the process, we have to have our data like Landsat 8 images. And if you don't know how to download a data or where to download a data, you can download it from here or you can Check my description box. I will give you a link for one of my video where I showed you how to download a Landsat 8 images from earthexplorer.usgs.com. So after you have downloaded the file, you will get this uh, zip file here. So you have to unzip it first or extract this file here. Then you will have these files and the Landsat 8 images have 11 fan in it and we will uh, also have a metadata file here. And in the metadata file, we have all kind of information uh, need in this tutorial. Okay, so let's go to the RGS. And in here, we are going to uh, work with the three bands of Landsat 8 images. One band is uh, band number 10, which is the thermal infrared band. And then we are going to use, we are going to need the band number 4, which is the red band, and band number 5, which is the near infrared band. So first of all, we are going to need band number 10 for calculation of uh, top of atmosphere radiance. And the top of atmosphere radiance calculation is the conversion of uh, top of atmosphere radiance. And the thermal infrared digital numbers can be converted to uh, top of atmosphere at spectral radiance. So this is the expression from where uh, we can calculate the top of atmosphere radiance. The first thing we need is here is the uh, radiance multiplicative band number 10 which we can find in the metadata file here and the radiance multiplicative band number 10 and here it is the radiance uh, multiplicative band number 10 it is 3.342 and the e means the 10 to the power minus 4 and then we are going to need this q data and which is the pixel value of band number 10 and then we are going to need uh, radiance at band number 10 which we can also find in here radiance at band number 10 and the next thing is the correction value for band number 10 we can also google for it or the number for uh, and the value for correction of band number 10 is 0 0.21 so then we are going to rgs and go to search box and right here faster calculator and we are going to need only this toolbox for this uh, tutorial okay so we have to uh, write down the equation here and we're going to rename it as top of atmosphere and please for to organize your data just go to your uh, geoprocessing bar and go to environments and in workspace please select a folder like i have created a folder like lens uh, lens uh, temps, land surface temperature and in here i have created a geodatabase file and click here and click add to add this add your scratch workspace and click ok and then we're going to step number two which is the conversion to, uh, to top of atmosphere brightness temperature and to Con, uh, to calculate the brightness temperature we will need these two constant value k1 and k2 and which you can find in here and this is the k1 constant uh, constant band number 10 and this is the k2 constant band number 10 again go to your rgis and then go to search box and again open this raster calculator toolbox and then in here we are going to write this expression Okay, then we are going to rename it as B T S for brightness temperature. Okay, then we have found our brightness temperature file here, and in the next step we are going to calculate the NDVI. And for to calculate NDVI, we are going to need two band, band number four and band number five. 
and the expression for calculating the NDVI is near infrared minus red band divided by near infrared plus red. So again go to the Astra calculator here and we have to add these two bands. Then we are going to rename it as band 4 and then go again go to the search box and open the raster calculator and in here and we are going to rename it as ndvi and click ok and in the next step step number 4 we are going to calculate proportion of hesitation and in here we are going to need the ndvi minimum value and ndvi maximum value and in here we can see the this is showing that the uh, high value, higher, no, higher value is 1 and the lower value is minus 1 but we have to find our maximum and minimum value so to do that go to properties and go to classified and go to classify and here you can see this uh, data actually here and zoom in okay so this is the NDVI minimum value. I'm going to reset the zoom and we are going, we are going for the maximum values. And here it is. This is our maximum value. Okay, so this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value. Please write down these two numbers in your notepad. We are going to need this in our next test. Close these two window and go to your search box again and go to raster calculator and the expression is a square uh, of NDVI minus NDVI minimum divided by NDVI maximum minus NDVI minimum. Okay. And we're going to rename it as PV and then click OK. Okay, so here is our PV uh, proportional vegetation, and then we are going to calculate the next step land surface emissivity. And uh, land surface em em emissivity is the average emissivity of an element of the surface of the earth calculated. And for the emissivity, we have to calculate this. Uh, these are the expression for to calculate the land surface emissivity. I'm going, I'm going to say copy it and then again go to search box and uh, raster calculator. And in here, and we're going to rename it as land surface emissivity and then click ok ok so here is our last step and in this step we are going to calculate the land surface temperature and this is the equation to calculate the land surface temperature in here we will need the brightness temperature and this is the lambda and which is the wavelength of band number 10 and again we are going to need a constant and which is derived from this value and in here h is the Planck's constant and c is the velocity of light divided by Boltzmann constant this is here and this is the c2 value and we are going to need this MECVD. okay then going to earth map again and then raster calculator and in here write the expression Okay, and we're going to rename it as the land surface temperature and click OK. Okay, so here we have our file uh, land surface temperature values. So we're going to 
and this is the actual result and you can see here the high value is maximum value is 24.89 or you can say 25 degrees celsius and the lowest temperature is 7.35 and the, the image was taken in january and which is winter season in bangladesh and you are going you, you can go to properties and just select a color lamp like this one and you can apply this to see your file okay and if you can want to compare from which zone is um, more cold and which is more hot just insert the mtl.txt file here and now you can compare this to image we go to image analysis and go to and select this one and select this swipe layer button okay here you can see this is some clouds in here and these are showing uh, too much colder and also this is the dense vegetation here and also here we have some clouds and in the forest zone we are we, we can see the temperature is relatively low than the other pearland areas so thank you for watching this video and if you have any suggestions for me you can comment below and please also let me know that uh, 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 how you find your maximum temperature and lowest temperature and uh, where the zone is and uh, if the zone is the pearland or the forest land so thank you for watching this video.